Many products have created USPs, unique selling propositions, by incorporating multiple senses into their customer's experience. In the following section, you will learn how to create a polysensual experience by targeting seven important conscious and subconscious human senses. Yes, seven. A recent example in March 2008, Starbucks changed their rule by mandating all grinding of coffee to be done in the cafes to enhance the aroma in the building, which is a big part of the Starbucks experience and one of the seven important human senses for a memorable sensory experience. As you learned earlier, there are two types of contradictions, technical and physical. This flowchart shows two paths to take depending on what type of conflict you have. Later in this chapter, you'll learn how to transform technical contradictions into physical and vice versa. So you can have a broader set of tools to address the problem. Right now, we'll focus our discussions on physical contradictions and tools to address them. Unlike technical contradictions that have two parameters fighting, a physical contradiction has one parameter, characteristic, or function that you want in two opposite states. Examples include a manufacturing process that you want to run hot for one reason, but cold for another. Or a bracket that needs to be thick for strength, but thin for weight. Or a service you want to finish fast to get it done, but slow to be done correctly. Or a blade that's sharp to cut, but dull for safety. These are physical contradictions because they seem physically impossible to solve. We'll discuss several different ways to discover the physical contradiction that's at the root of your situation or challenge. Once you discover or derive the physical contradiction, there are four main separation principles that can be applied to generate novel solutions. These four separation principles are separation in time, space, between the parts in the whole, and upon condition. Let's first look at separation in time. To illustrate separation in time, let's consider a few physical contradictions. Airplane wings, for example. You want them long for lift, but short for drag. A cup holder. You want it there because you have a cup. You don't want it there because most of the time you don't have a cup. PDA keyboards. You want them large because you have big hands or fat fingers. But you want them small for portability. A software menu. You want it large so you can see it easily. You want it small because there are so many different buttons. The U.S. Navy's F-14 and the F-111 have long and short wings, separated in time. They only need long wings during takeoff and landing. The cup holder in your car is likely to be there when you need it and not there when you don't, separated in time. The old Palm PDA has a small and a large keyboard separated in time. Anyone who uses an Apple computer will know they make a very small menu bar across the bottom and it morphs to become large only when you need them large by cursoring over them. Separation in space, separation between the parts in the whole, and separation upon condition are additional inventive principles that may be used when the separation in time principle will not work for your situation. Systematic innovation tool number nine, painstorming, sounds deceptively simple, but is quite effective. In a nutshell, the product or service developer deeply understands the customer's pain, then creates countermeasures for them. Several methods to uncover these pains are explained in the workshop, one being simply asking the customers about their frustrations. Solving these frustrations will differentiate you from the competition. Consider the following examples. On the left side of this page are self-explanatory painstorming innovations, portable breath strips, easy to use containers, and convenient help for your computer headaches. On the right, here's an example of a spray bottle innovation using painstorming. One of the big frustrations of most non-aerosol bottles is getting the last 10% out. This recent innovation has a flexible tube that appears to solve the problem completely. One of the annoyances with shoes is after a long day having them hot, sweaty, and smelly. This manufacturer has a built-in pump on the heel that circulates air every step throughout the day. Ever see a kid put a shoe on the wrong foot? It has been a problem for a hundred years. 
until a woman in 2001 patented a brilliant solution to the problem. It's not a one-size-fits-all, and it's not the letter R and L on each shoe. In fact, it's so brilliant, shoot us an email, and we'll email you part of the actual patent which shows you exactly how she did it. It's elegantly simple and absolutely solves the problem. The key to pain storming is discovering pains no one else has solved, then developing countermeasures that will solve the problem and add value.